Hello guys, welcome back to Math Break. Uh, if it, this is the first time you have come across with this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so the next time you may see the new video. At this lesson, we are looking at introduction to trigonometric equation. Uh, first of all, in the trigonometric equation, there are some principles which you should follow, which is the quadrants. I guess you are all uh, come across with uh, quadrants so quadrants are like this one we have sine cos and turn are positive here in the first quadrant in the second quadrant only sign it is positive only sign it is positive Cos and tangent here it is negative. Only turn is positive here. Only turn. So sine and cos in the third quadrant they are negative. In the fourth, only cos. Only cos here it is positive. So for sine and tangent they are negative in the fourth quadrant. So uh there are some equation which you should follow. We have uh, a sine squared a plus b b sine a plus c equals to zero because this is a kind of a quadratic equation. As you can see, we have a, b, and c. So here. Uh, when e, when a is equals to zero, this is the first option. When a is equals to zero from this quadratic equation, then equation it will be uh, b b sine a plus c equals to zero because here where the a is zero so zero times the sign a it is or zero in which we are going to have uh, let's make sign b sign a to be the of the formula in which it will be b sign a is equals to minus c divided by b divided by b so here we are going to remain with sign a sine a equals minus c over b and d, when finding the angle it will be a equals sine sine inverse of uh, minus c over b minus c over b we are going to have two possible values of a for this kind of equation for Roman numeral 2, if uh, when, e, when b is equal to 0, here it was a equals to 0. So we are going to substitute where there is b here. So we are going to have a sine sin squared a plus c is equal to 0. Then a sine squared a equals to minus c when c approaches the cosine in which we are going to have let's divide throughout with a so that sine a remain alone over a so sine squared a is equals to minus c over a so you put the square root here even here so sine a equals to plus or minus uh, c minus c over a in this kind of equation we are going to have uh, uh, four in this kind of equation here in a b and d, c uh, none zero and then zero from this uh, quadratic equation then uh, the quadratic equation it will be a 
sin square d a plus uh, b sin a plus c is equals to zero. So now we are going to use uh, the quadratic equation with the quadratic formula which we all know which is uh, sin a is equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, b squared minus 4 ac divided by uh, 2a so this is just a, an introduction to uh, to trigonometry equation so uh, in trigonometry equation there are some often identities which we normally use let's take it as number trigonometry equation it is cos cos squared a plus sine squared a is equals to 1 we all know that uh, this is an identity equation so we have to take consider into this kind of equation uh, another one this is see, Roman numeral 1 Roman numeral 2 it is uh, 1 plus tan square d a it is equals to sec square d a so make sure you all know uh, these kind of identities for you to solve uh, some of the uh, trigonometry equation other one for number three for number three it is uh, cot squared a plus one this one is equals to uh, cosec squared a so this equation you must take into consideration when solving a uh, trigonometric equation so let's start uh, with the examples examples example so uh, one which is the 5 sine x plus 3 is equals to 0 and the b and 1 we have uh, 5 sine x plus 3 equals to 0 so we have to take 3 to the other side in which it will be 5 sine x to minus 3 then you divide throughout uh, with the 5 5 in which we are going to remain with the uh, sine x equals minus 3 over 5 then what you do here uh, you do x equals sine inverse of uh, minus 3 over 5 then you punch on the calculator on which uh, you are going to have uh, x equals to 36.869 so we are we are not yet uh, done so let's draw a quadrant this is just a first angle and here if you can see there's a negative here so we have to go where sign is negative so let's draw a quadrant here we are drawing a quadrant so the same uh, 36 if, if you can see the 36 angle it is found in the first quadrant here uh, 86.869 and the alternative angle for other side it will be also 36 here point eight so uh, we are looking where sign uh, where sign it is uh, negative so if you can see in the first quadrant sign it is positive and in the for in the second it is positive 
So we are saying it is negative, it is A and D. Uh, third, third and fourth. So what you do, you come here. So this is a, a straight line, which is add up to 180. So we are going to add uh, 180 degree plus A. 860.8860 degree in which we are going to have uh, 216.87 if you round off yeah then for the second one uh, where sign it is negative it is in the third so there is also a friction here which is 86.869 so we are going to subtract uh, 360 we are going to subtract this angle from 360 which is 360 degree minus 86.87 degree so the answer which we are going to have it is uh, 320 3.13 degree so now the values are therefore the values which we have of x it is uh, 2216.87 degree and the uh, 3, 2, 3 degrees. So these are the angles which we are looking for. Two possible angles. And this question here. So let's go for number.